You guys are telling me that you love a good bargain. And today here on the table, we've got a CPU cooler that promises to be able to handle overclocking and only comes in at $17 USD shipped worldwide. And this is the Snowman. And automatically putting this thing on the scales, it weighs in at over 540 grams, making it a similar weight to that of a Cooler Master 212 Evo, which costs $35, so over double the cost. And it also weighs in similar to that of a Wraith Prism from AMD. So today we're gonna to be doing a couple of tests for you guys. First of all, 3900X, we're gonna put that against the Wraith Prism, against the Snowman. Then we're gonna put the Snowman against the Wraith Spire on a 3600, and then we're gonna put the Snowman against the Cooler Master 212 Evo on a 2600K and overclock it. So will this $17 cooler be garbage or will it be the best thing you've ever spent your money on when it comes to CPU cooling? Let's find out. But before we do, today's video is brought to you by Wix. With its intuitive website builder, you can make a gorgeous and professional looking website with over hundreds of designer made templates to choose from and also customizable designs. They also offer a drag and drop website editor, which is great for beginners. And they include image and text editors, as well as many free fonts to choose from. You can add and organize pages, or if you're a professional, you can embed HTML code. And they also have the Wix app market where you can integrate apps into your website frustration free. As well as making an online store, it's never been easier. Me personally, I'm making a little local site here for used PCs and it's been an absolute breeze for someone like myself who doesn't know a whole lot about building websites. If you wanna get started, then I'll put the link in the description below for you guys. What are you waiting for? Go build yourself a professional looking website. And with that said, let's get back to testing out the snowman. So the first test we've done here is the Wraith Prism versus the Snowman. We did this on the 3900X. Unfortunately, the 4.3 gigahertz all core did switch the system off. So I decided to test at four gigahertz at 1.23 volt. And this netted a temperature of 91.4 degrees with a minimum idle temperature of 33 degrees. And then changing over to the Snowman, we had a minimum temperature idle of 31 degrees and maximum of 83.1 degrees. This is after 10 minutes in Ida 64. So apples to apples, the snowman claimed a victory over the Wraith Prism. And the best thing was, was the noise was also considerably lower on the snowman than it was on the Wraith Prism. And because we're on the X570 board, it does have PWM fan control related to the temperatures. So we saw around 35 to 42 decibels on the Wraith Prism and comparing that to the Snowman, we were going from anywhere from 30 dB to 36 dB. So it was a very quiet solution and it also scored a victory of nearly eight degrees over that of the Wraith Prism. So we've got one victory already for the Snowman. Let's move over now to the Wraith Stealth on the 3600. So next up here, we've got the Snowman versus the Wraith Stealth on the 3600. We did a 4.1 gigahertz all core overclock and this retail sample did need a little bit more voltage to get there. It's 1.3 volt at these settings. And what we saw here was 97.6 degrees after 10 minutes in a stress test on the Wraith Stealth with a minimum idle of 36.3. And the noise levels were going from around 38 decibels to 40 dB and then moving over to the Snowman this absolutely laid a smack down, getting a maximum of 82.6 degrees and a minimum of 30.5 degrees. So that's exactly 15 degrees cooler in the same 24 degree ambient environment temperatures. So this little snowman is already looking like it's a really good option for people who wanna get a budget cooler, especially for the Ryzen 5 3600. But now it's time for the grand finale and this is the snowman versus the Cooler Master 212, coming in at 35 bucks versus seven.
6600K. Unfortunately, we did have this on an ASRock Z68 Extreme 3, which is a real sort of entry-level Z68 board. So I actually had some troubles overclocking it and I settled for 4.3 gigahertz because anything higher just reset the whole system. I actually had to update the BIOS too because the keyboard was just freezing and everything was freezing when I booted it up initially if I had more than one USB port connected. So really weird. I mean, to be honest, ASRock uh, became good in my eyes after X99. That's when they started getting their stuff together. But that aside, we got the temperatures coming in here. 32 degrees idle on both these coolers with this 4.3 gigahertz overclock. And then we had the maximum temperature on the Cooler Master 212 coming in at 62 degrees and the Snowman coming in at 65 degrees. So it did lose out by three degrees, but here is the kicker. It came in with actually what I consider considerably less noise coming in roughly with 36 dB on average. And then the 212 was coming in at about 44 decibels. So the fan was ramping up harder on the 212 versus the Snowman. So now we're gonna sit down and talk about this epic cooler right here. And so here it is with the Snowman. This thing right here for 17 bucks blew my mind and that's considering anyone in the world can get one of these it's just representing the new meta in terms of price performance and something that you can get that's readily available the cooling as well as the temperatures as well as the noise all really blew me away and the build quality isn't too half bad the mounting kit for am4 will simply use the existing bracket and then clip down and then for intel you'll put in the plastic clips and slot that down and then install it. And it's actually pretty easy to install this unit. Now, it didn't come with any thermal paste, but if you guys are shopping on AliExpress and you install a lot of coolers, I do recommend getting some GD900. That stuff does a phenomenal job and you get a massive tube of that for next to no money. But that being said, you will need some thermal paste with this cooler as it doesn't come with any included. And on the box, it also has RGB written on one of the sides and then on the other side, it's just got what this cooler is when it is pulled out of the box. So I'm guessing there's two different models and they're just using the same box. But regardless, I never expected them to throw in RGB with the price performance that this thing's already giving. And it actually looks pretty neat from the get-go. It's got the white and black fan on the silver cooler and it's got four heat pipes and actually quite a decent sized base plate bigger than that of the 212. So this right here, even though it lost out three degrees to the Evo 212, it came in with less noise. And that to me was pretty much putting it in equal territory as that $35 cooler, but coming in at under half the price. If you guys wanna get one of these for pretty much any CPU for extracting a sweet spot overclock, then this thing is going to do a really good job. It's also a good upgrade for people who wanna get something better than the Wraith Stealth. And even then it will perform better than the Wraith Prism, which actually was a pretty pleasant surprise for this unit. Anyway guys, with that aside, there isn't really a whole lot more to say about this cooler than it is quite simply epic. And for 17 bucks, I already bought six of these things because I was reading the reviews and some of my viewers were telling me that these things were the new go-to. And I completely agree, you guys out there are right. Thanks for the tip on this one. And I'm here to simply say this thing you cannot lose. And even if you were losing, you'd probably be winning. And at least one thing is rest assured, is that when you go to bed at night, you can know that you've got a little man by your side who's gonna be king. <laughs> but rest assured, with a snowman, you can go to sleep easy at night, knowing for 17 bucks, you got something that's gonna be cool, quiet, and it's gonna do a good job of turning you into a snowman. Anyway guys, with that aside, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Also let us know in the comment section below what you think of this cooler and also what you think about me checking out some alternative stuff. And in this case, I'm really grateful that I did because this, in my opinion, is a new go-to cooler for those that need something reliable, decent, and that's actually in stock. So this is the new meta, I think, coming in for worldwide cooling on a budget. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. And also don't forget to check out today's video sponsor Wix where you can build yourself a professional looking website even if you're a beginner and it's actually free to sign up using the link in the description below. Check it out. Peace out for now. Bye. Snowman is life.